interested in real estate investing but don't think you got enough money or don't know how to do it, well, I got one strategy for you that may make the most sense in the world, especially if you're a young, single, or even just an adventurous couple. And if you stay to the end, I'll be breaking down my top pick for places to house hack with the greatest appreciation. What's going on? I'm Ed Butler and I make videos just like this one about what it's like to live, work, eat, sleep, and play and invest in Detroit. If that's something that interests you and you wanna learn more about it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos that I put out. Also, if you get anything out of this video, be sure to hit the like button for me. It goes a long way for the YouTube algorithm. I'm also a full-time realtor, so if you need any help at all on purchasing, selling, or investing in real estate, feel free to reach out to me. I'm your guy. All my information is down below, and I love to have your back on your home buying, selling, or investing journey. And with that, let's hop into the video. So exactly what is house hacking? House hacking is a term that's been used more and more lately, and it's getting more and more popular for people to do, but people have been doing it forever. If you got an aunt, uncle, cousin, whoever, who owned a duplex at one point and then they rented the other side out to someone else, maybe one of your other family members, they were house hacking. So the concept remains the same. So you pretty much are going to be purchasing a property as your primary residence that's a multi-family unit. So that has between one and four units. Now I say multi-family one to four because for a personal loan or FHA loan, it has to be one to four. Anything beyond that becomes commercial multifamily and then you're getting into some all other types of different stuff. So for an easy example, let's break down the easiest one and that's gonna be a duplex. So let's say you buy a duplex for $200,000. You do a standard FHA mortgage, which would be three and a half percent, then your down payment is $7,000 to buy this duplex. So you can see, you don't have a half a ton of money to get in there. Now you're gonna have clothing costs and some things like that, so it'll boop it up, bump it up a little bit. Maybe you're in all in at eleven, twelve thousand dollars to purchase this home, but that'll end up putting your monthly mortgage payment right around twelve hundred dollars, give or take a hundred or so dollars on each side, depending on where you live, what your interest rate is, and your property taxes are. Then you take that other side of your duplex and you put a renter in there. You charge them $900 a month for a two bed, one bath, pretty standard, probably more in your area or a little bit less depending on what part of the city you live in. But after that, all in, 1,200 minus 900 leaves you with a $300 mortgage payment. So now you're living in a house that's gonna appreciate for $300 a month. And this renter is paying the majority of your mortgage. Now let's take this and you do it over a year because the FHA guidelines state that you have to live in the property at least a year if you're gonna do an owner-occupied loan. Well, you do that for a year, you move out, find you another duplex and do the same thing over again, and you move a renter in the unit that you used to live in, and now you're collecting 1,800 a month, and your mortgage payment is still $1,200 a month. So now you're getting $600 a month of gross cash flow. This is one of the easiest ways for young, new, or fresh investors to be able to get started on the path to investing. I tell every single young person without you know, kids or families or whatever to take a really deep dive look at this concept and give it a shot. And it's not limited to this young folks. There's a lot of people that do this. Even seasoned investors still do this to this day, whether it's owning the property and renting out a side of it or owning the property and renting out a bedroom or the basement or doing Airbnb part-time. There's all types of way to hack your house. Now, you probably got here and said, Ed, I understand what house hacking is. I love it, I wanna do it, but where in Detroit can I do it? Well, my favorite place for this concept, especially if you're a little bit more established, maybe you have a family, maybe you have a little money saved up and you wanna go into a little bit of a higher range and live in a nicer area, and that's gonna be Gross Point. Gross Point has a ton of duplexes and I specialize in selling them right now. So my investors that I work with that want a very reliable duplex with higher rents and a more stable or B, A-class tenant, 
I point them to Gross Point. Gross Point has A plus rated schools, so they're attractive to families, and then it's very close to downtown Detroit, so it's attractive to young singles as well for renters. Next is gonna be, of course, Detroit. Now there are a lot of duplexes inside of the city of Detroit. Check out here some of my other videos that tell you the best areas of Detroit. And in these areas, I'm pretty sure you can find multi-families because multi-families were a huge thing back in the day when we were building this city. But some quick areas in Detroit to look out for is gonna be Morningside in the 48224 zip code, and then Martin Park in the 48221 zip code. So that's just a couple, but there's a ton. Next is gonna be Ferndale. Ferndale is one of the trendiest happening in cities in all of Metro Detroit, but they also have a ton of multifamilies. So if you and your friends are looking to rent a place out, be the smart friend who buys the place and then rents the other space to your buddies. Ferndale is being walking distance to their downtown is very vibrant. Lots of tons of restaurants and bars that people love. So you have no issues getting renters in this area of town because so many young professionals want to be in this area. Then lastly is another area in the far west and that's going to be Dearborn. Dearborn, quite kept, has a ton of multi-families and they're always at least a few available. This area is very densely populated and is very near to all types of things. So you're really close to the airport, you're really close to downtown Detroit, and then uh, all the western cities that are Metro Detroit. Lastly, for a bonus pick that's near and dear to my heart that I have a ton of multi-families, and that's going to be Pontiac, Michigan. Has a little bit of rougher areas, but a lot of the areas are really nice and cool and they just get a bad rap. So if you're looking to have a multi-family under the $200,000 range, Pontiac is a great place to look. And Pontiac is poised for appreciation. They're actually up 40% year over year in values. So go ahead and buy you a duplex there, ride that equity on up, and then you know keep it for investment. Now I just wanna break down a couple other things of when it comes to multi-family because you may think duplex is all it is. That's not the case. Duplexes is just the most common, but there also are triplexes, which means it's gonna be three units. It's most commonly gonna be a duplex with the extra unit attached. So maybe it'd be a side-by-side, -side, two bed, one bath duplex in both units, and then they have a one bedroom out back somewhere. Oh, what I recently saw was uh, that same setup, but then it literally had an extra house in the backyard. That was a one bedroom, one bath with a basement, which was crazy. And another type is gonna be a quad, and that's gonna be a four unit property. These are usually more standard than the rest of them because you're gonna have mirror images of all four units for the most part, or if they defer, it'll be just in bedrooms. So let's say the bottom unit has three beds, so three beds and one bath, and the top unit has two beds and one bath. So quads are like one of my favorite things, but they're just so hard to find. And so if you find a good quad, Go ahead and grab it, because it's almost sure to be a great investment for you. And if you house hack a quad, then you're well on your way to definitely paying zero dollars in a mortgage, because as long as you have at least two of those things written out, you're probably gonna be covering your mortgage. If you learned anything in this video, make sure you go ahead and hit the like button and tap subscribe if you wanna see more video content just like this one. And remember, I'm a full-time realtor, so if you're looking to make a move in Detroit or invest in Detroit, Feel free to reach out to me. All my information is down below, and I'd love to have your back on your home buying, selling, or investing journey. With that, I catch you on the next one.